Why don't you take a few deep breaths with me? Ready? It's better. Hey favorites, happy Wednesday. I am here 45 minutes early because I thought I was gonna go to Michael's and when I pulled up, I always check to make sure that I have everything in my purse, which by the way, I need to change my purse obviously because I'm still using a Christmas one, but my wallet isn't in my purse, which is so bizarre and that's something that like never ever happens to me, but um, I guess not never because it did. Um, and I know exactly where it is. It's on my desk because I had to buy something and I needed to grab my work card. But anyways, I'm here 45 minutes early. I thought I would do a little stream of consciousness. Welcome to the vlog. And I need to buy a tripod for this camera in my car because anytime I try and film while I'm driving, it just falls. And obviously that's not gonna work. So let me do that right now, actually, because I keep saying I need to do it and then I never do it. So I'm here 45 minutes early. I was thinking about a few things and I thought we could just talk about them. Okay, let's do it. My cart right now has some weird shit in it. But okay. Do, 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 do. Done. So we will have a tripod for in the car finally because that has been very annoying. I wanted to show you an update on my Xeomin which is similar to Botox a different brand. Botox is actually a brand name um, but I got it for the third time ever. The last time I got it was January 30th of 2021 and so I had nothing left but look. <laughs> I can't, there's no lines here, which is great. Thank you. But also I have no like makeup on. I didn't fix my brows or anything, but I, there's nothing. It's hilarious. Anyways, see, what are my plans for today? So I'm going to get my lashes done. I'm not going to go to Michael's because the universe apparently does not want me to go. I'm driving illegally without my wallet. Um, I need to make a cake today, which will be very exciting. And I really should start organizing more. In last week's vlog, I actually had footage of me showing my like really messy office. And then I was gonna show you guys like an after, but the video was so long that I started like cutting things that I was like, this is really not necessary. I don't know, they don't really need to see this. So I cut that portion and I kind of regret it, but I was thinking instead of like, I could still sprinkle cleaning and organizing in the vlogs, but I could have like separate standalone videos for that kind of stuff. So that if you're really into that, that's what you can watch. If you don't really care about it, eh, you can just let it go. Um, or you can watch all of my videos. Um, that would be cool too. But I think that's what I might end up doing because I would love to have like a spring cleaning, spring organizing playlist. That way you guys have all of that um, because my house is in desperate need of cleaning and organizing. I have been creating a list of videos that I would like to make with just like standalone videos. So my evening ritual, um, I stopped calling it a routine because it makes my brain feel gross. But if I call it a ritual, then I'm more likely to do it, right? I don't know that I've talked about this on here, but I have talked about it on Twitter for sure. Um, I don't have ADHD, but my CPTSD mimics a lot of the symptoms of ADHD. And so I definitely struggle with object permanence. I struggle with um, overspending. And actually recently I've discovered that binge eating and a lot of eating disorders also correlate directly with ADHD a lot of times. And so I struggle a lot with ADHD-like symptoms or symptoms of ADHD without being. I really thought I had ADHD, but my therapist was like, I really think it's your trauma. Um, and just like, so in case you didn't know, 
your trauma can present as an ADHD symptom or symptoms. Um, so there's your fun fact of the day. I'm very good at organizing, but it's finding a place for things in the beginning that really sets me up for success. So once I have a place, I'm great at keeping things organized, but the problem with my house right now is that it's small and we've definitely outgrown it as a family, but I'm not gonna buy a house right now in this current climate um, because the next house I intend to buy will be our farm and it'll be our forever homestead house that you know we like really live in. I love our house. This house has served my family extremely well um, and I'm super grateful for it, but we've definitely outgrown it. So we need to declutter a little bit and sort of figure out better ways to organize it. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but there you go. Um, so yeah, do some like evening ritual. I went on a, on a tangent there. and <laughs> Do some like evening ritual um, videos. I would like to do just like a standard day in my life, but I don't really have a day that's always the exact same. My days pretty much change, but I could also start showing like behind the scenes of work stuff now that I'm slowly getting back into work stuff. But I wanted to say happy Wednesday. Welcome to the vlog. I'm so happy to have you and um, I'm pumped to bring you along for the rest of the week. I wanted to show you progress on the arrow garden. So this side I did lettuces and then this side I did tomatoes, but you can't really tell, but they are starting to come out. And then as far as the tomatoes go, they are also sprouting. I have the light on the lowest setting that it goes, that's as far down as it goes. And I can control that with an app on my phone, but I can also use the control panel up here. <sighs> Update on the other arrow garden, the herb one. We are 67 days. It's getting a little congested in here, so I'm gonna clean some of this up, which will prevent stuff like this from happening. Um, but that looks really, but it looks really good. So, I also have this grow light that I've had for a little bit, and I need to get it up. So I'm gonna do that soon, probably this week. I got this chicken lettuce wrap sauce um, from P.F. Chang's um, from the grocery store. I was thinking I could use the sauce to marinate my tofu, so I might actually try it. I don't know how it's going to work, but reading the ingredients, like it can't really be bad. It's like oyster sauce. Um, there is chicken broth in here, like less than 2% of chicken broth. There is a little bit. I'm fine with that. That's not going to hurt my stomach mushroom juice concentrate, so I think this will be fine. I'd like to get this started now, it's 12.30, then that way um, it'll be really good and marinated by the time I'm ready to eat dinner.
Don't look at that. Sometimes I don't realize how huge my hair looks until I get on camera and I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> Anyways, do you like my sweatshirt? Miss Dolly Parton, happy birthday by the way, it was her birthday recently. Update on the Arrow Garden. These are our tomatoes. In our lettuce. Oh. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Woo, 
Luna. What are we doing? You want to show them your new name tag? It says Luna. Hold on. Hold on, Felicia. Jeez Louise. Cat. You want to go up on your perch? Is that what you're trying to do? Go ahead, sister. There's a little mama. Hi. I did my hair for you because I didn't want you to have to look at that since you're having to look at my face, um, which is healing really well, by the way. And I haven't been picking, so okay. My cats are choosing violence. Please stop. Please stop. Stop. That's not for you to do that with. Dude, you're a heathen. People think that Hades is the heathen, but look at you. You checking out our progress, sir? <laughs> so here is our arrow garden progress. Our tomatoes are looking beautiful. Here are our lettuces, which are finally sprouting. I don't know that this one is going to, oh, maybe it is. But they all are looking really good. You want this condensation means that they're germinating correctly, so that's positive. Put it back on. I did order the covers for these. They just got shipped. Um, oh, where did this one go? I bet a cat did that. I will have to replace that because otherwise we will get mold. Um, so when we have a few like this, I need to thin this out. I'm gonna pick the strongest one and then Get rid of the rest, but let me get an, an aluminum foil to cover that up. I got my Gardener Supply magazine, and I really should not have been sent this because these are all like grow light fixtures. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I want all of them. That is so cute. Hi, welcome to my office. I hope you can see me. It is a little bit dark because of the weather outside, but I have something that I have to share with you and I'm really excited. So, today I received certification um, that my backyard is now a Monarch way station. So, I wanted to show it to you. Um, yeah, so this is really exciting. When I started raising monarchs last year, I didn't do it with the intention of really doing anything, um, but it was so healing to me. And that's what really led me into like gardening and just being outside like that. And that helped heal this part of me that was missing, um, you know, not taking care of a baby. Obviously nothing will ever replace my son but it's been really fulfilling to me and my soul to have something that I can just pour my heart into and um, see the benefits of it. So I'm very excited. So I need to put this on a post because it's like ASMR. Um, so yeah, I need to put this on a post, put it out in the garden. I do need to clean up the garden, which Maybe I could do tomorrow. I don't know what the weather is like. But I also got this certification of, certification of appreciation. I didn't want to put my full name on it. Just, you know, privacy reasons. Yeah, that's very exciting. I wanted to share that with you. Let's look and see what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be pretty cool. Today it's actually the high of 76, but tomorrow the high is 61 and it has a 70% chance of rain. So I don't think I'll be outside tomorrow, but I do wanna clean that up for you guys and for me. I know I mentioned it a few videos back that like, oh yeah, I'm gonna clean the backyard. I never got around to it. It seems that a lot of projects that I wanna do keep getting pushed back a little bit, but that's okay. Um, Maybe I'll do that next week with you guys though. And I started looking at organizational things to organize this closet. I'm gonna take this door off and put some of those like, do you remember in the 90s we had those like hanging beads? I'm putting those right there because I don't use this closet door and it gets caught now on the record holder anyways. So I'm gonna get rid of this door, put some like beads on there or something 
and organize that with you guys, of course. And then I want to organize my bedroom closet with you, but it's kind of embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. I have collected a lot of clothes, and so I, I don't even wanna deal with it. I've just been like throwing stuff in my closet and then not even looking at it, acting like it doesn't exist. So I really should get on that. Whether or not I share that though, will depend on how vulnerable I'm feeling and how much I'm willing to show that part of me. We'll see. Speaking of which, also, how's your water intake? Someone in my last video, um, someone in the comments of my last video mentioned that I have a community tab and I totally forgot about that here on YouTube. So maybe I'll be utilizing that. I also think next month I might look into streaming on YouTube, um, maybe just like once a month and it doesn't have to be like a serious deal and um, anyone can join, it'll be free obviously because I do want this like outlet for you guys who want to talk to me and support me um, on this platform. So that's my exciting update for right now. I will check back in with you if there's something else exciting that happens. I hope you're having a beautiful day and just a reminder that you are very loved and so needed here on earth. So. Whoa, whoa. Okay, copyright. Hello, happy Friday. I am getting ready for stream. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I have no idea what I wanna do. I'm just walking in this with no plan, Stan. And this is dying. Honestly, sometimes it's just what you have to do. But this week is feeling extra dense. Um, Mercury is in retrograde. And I know people are like, meh, astrology, but there's something to it, let me tell you. So my energy has just been like heavy. I really have to go get my nails done, but I didn't do it this week because sometimes we just don't wanna do that. Um, I did manage to not pick at my face enough for it to get pretty healed actually. Um, and let me tell you, vlogging has been a really good motivator to not pick up my face because since I show my bare face now on camera, um, I, I don't want to have to like cover things up. I've been intentionally not putting on makeup a lot throughout the week so that I could heal. But this is like totally flat now and I haven't picked at it. These are two, haven't picked. This one still feels like there's something there, but that's between, not me. I have nothing to do with that because if I did, I would be picking. So. I think this is also the clearest my nose has ever been or has been in a long, 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 long time because it's my favorite thing to pick. Enough about me, what about you? I thought we could do like a little get ready with me but again, I don't know what I want to wear. Like last week would have been a perfect week to film this because I knew what I was going to wear. I felt confident and beautiful. And I still feel kind of pretty right now. But I also like, I don't like not having a plan. This is a redness corrector. So I just dab it on the parts uh, that tend to be red. Anything I have that's like... I had a pretty cathartic cry session today. I don't know if I want to post this, but I want to talk about it, so. Okay, I think the moon is in Virgo. <laughs> Obviously I needed it. And I was actually thinking the other day, it had been a while since I cried like that, but don't worry, we've met our quota, so we're good. 
Um, are you sick of looking at this yellow tape? Me too. The last two days I've been feeling the energy and it's sort of led me to be like, I'm going to take it a little bit easier. And so I haven't done some of the projects on my list that I wanted to get done, which usually annoys me, but I feel like it was the right move this week. Um, but I really want to get started on spring cleaning and spring organizing. And part of that is going to be to paint in here and to paint my bedroom. I want to do a total like rehaul on my bedroom, but, and I would love to get new furniture, but I'm not going to do that until we have the farm. So the furniture we have now is fine. It's just super big and bulky and black. I didn't pick it out, but, um, it's fine. I just think it's time to like move some furniture around. It's been the same exact configuration for eight years and it needs like a refresh of paint, you know? So we'll be doing that soon. I've been looking at colors for my bedroom and if I'm honest with you, I'm really just leaning towards white. <laughs> um, so I looked at Faro and Ball and some of their colors and I just really love the way that they apply. So I might do that. I also have a tween who wants their bedroom redone. So, I will be doing that. And I probably should like give a little like refresh to my office. So that's kind of what we're at. Um, I say, as I mentioned, almost every room in my house, but still, you know what I mean? Do I want to do a red lip? I kind of do. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I don't I don't wanna do a lot of makeup. So maybe I won't do a red lip. I'll save a red lip for a day when I actually wanna do makeup. Because today is not that day. If I was a little baby. This is my favorite lip liner ever. I used to not wear lip liners. Um, I basically still don't. <laughs> Carmix is like my favorite thing to put on my lips. I actually like the pigmentation of my bare lips. Bare lips? That sounds weird. My bare, my bare lips. Um, I like the pigmentation of them, so I don't do a whole lot usually, but I do love this stuff, so. I don't really look that much different from the last time that you saw me. I like brushed my hair and that was pretty much it. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a robe tonight. I told you, I don't really, I don't know. I just, happy Friday. Welcome to the weekly wrap up. I am your host. <laughs> no, y'all, I don't know. I, I'm really looking forward to therapy tomorrow. Sometimes it just hits me all at once. I think a lot of it has to do with the pandemic, but I don't feel like I shot a lot of footage this week. I say that sometimes, but um, maybe I did and I just don't remember a lot of it, which is fine. Like sometimes I won't shoot as much. Um, especially because I don't leave my house very often. Oh, I did order my mount for my car. So that should increase the vlogging a little bit because I do have to go run errands, um, quite often. And so I think that that will increase the vlogs or like me talking in there. And I have some of my best conversations with myself in a car. Does that happen to you? I literally have some of my best conversations and my best ideas in my car. And I would love for a way to capture that. A lot of the times it's just me singing at the top of my lungs to music, but sometimes I have some pretty interesting ideas. So I'm excited to capture that with you guys. Um, I got a package, onions. This is a whole pack of onions and garlic. So, that I can start them. Focus. 
Um, I'm quite excited actually. I also have an onion in my kitchen that I'm starting. I'm pretty sure I've said it before, but I think gardening is really good for me because it forces me out of my like perfectionist. Is that like a gang symbol or like a... Got it. Sorry, I just took a bite of food. I don't think I've had dinner yet. No, I haven't. It's eight o'clock, but I wanna show you something. Are you crooked? Or am I just crooked? I'm gonna show you something very exciting that I got this week. I was about to say this is gonna get me shadow banned or something, but I don't know that's a thing on here. So as I spoke about a while ago, and I don't think I've really touched on it since then, I am really interested in Tantra and I'm really interested in reconnecting with my divine feminine and connecting with my body and my sensuality and my spirituality. So part of that is um, learning about how the female um, organs work, sexual organs work. And like I said, did I leave that part in the vlog? I think I did. So as you know, I've been reading the book Vagina. I've been reading a bunch about Tantra. I have a ton of books. So I got a 3D printed vulva with interchangeable clitorises. Clitorises? Clitori? What's, I don't know. I got the silver color because I thought it was um, less fleshy. I don't know what word I'm trying to find. Um, because I want it to be like an educational tool, not something that I'm like, it's not a sex toy, right? It's 3D printed. So yeah, I got this to like learn and describe, um, how women get worked up during orgasms, because I think that a lot of people think that the clitoris is just this part, but it's an entire organ that has to be worked up and, um, Women have different levels of arousal. It's very interesting. So I got that, that came in. Should I make this my thumbnail? Will I get in trouble? Yes. Yeah, so ideally I will reach a point where I am basically the modern equivalent of talk sex with Sue. Doing that? No, why? Vaginal oh. farts are wonderful things. I don't know if you remember that, but it was completely life-changing for me. I want to inform the masses about female pleasure and sexuality and I'm really excited to do it, so I wanted to share that with you. We'll see what YouTube thinks about it. <laughs> you know what's crazy is I remember turning on the camera and feeling really like down, the energy is really dense and heavy, and the second I start talking about something like this, I, I could talk forever. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. If it makes me light up like that, I think that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Also, it came in this really cute little like 3D printed box. So, anyways, I'll link this down below if you want a, if you would like your own model of a vulva and clitoris, I will link them down below. I did talk to my therapist about filming myself during therapy. Um, so I might start doing that depending on how it feels and depending on, on how long the vlog already is. Because if it's like an hour long, like it was last week, I'm not going to add on that footage. But again, I would like the vlogs to be a mixture of like home video feel um, and sit down portions like this. And I think that me filming my therapy could be interesting and therapeutic for myself and maybe for you guys. So I hope you're having an incredible week. Please stay safe. Mercury retrograde is no joke. And I love you very much. I care about you. I'm so grateful that you're here with me. And I'll see you next week.